Okay, our next case, again, is the City of Alasta case. Again, will be heard Thursday, December the 13th. Agenda item number 8, case number BA 2012-18. Mr. Martin. Yes, sir. These are proposed text amendments to the Alasta Land Development Regulations, called the LDR. Uh, we spent a pretty good bit of time at the work session going through these in pretty good detail. We'll not go back through it all again. To simply get the highlights. Uh, the majority of these amendments, at least the first seven, uh, six pages, were um, are with the sign regulations chapter, which is chapter 230. Um, we're tweaking some of the language for clarification's sake. We are relaxing some of the standards. You may recall a little more than two years ago, we had a set of a, the last time we amended this chapter, um, we relaxed our standards for temporary signs, including banners and portables, um, for a period. Uh, a little more than two years. Um, that's as a sunset date, and that date is coming up back to uh, a half years ago. It seemed like a long ways away, but that date is actually December 31st. So we've got to do something with those changes that were made two years ago, either make them permanent, um, go back to the way it was, or as staff is recommending, to extend it another three years. Part of the rationale at that time was because of the downturn in the economy to allow a little extra flexibility in this form of signage for local businesses. Um, the economy has not significantly changed in the past two and a half years, so hence a recommendation to extend it. Um, those are the highlights for the sign regs portion of it. Starting on page seven, we get into the Title III area amendments. <coughs> These have to do with maintenance of public right-of-way. This is similar language as was adopted by the same ordinance, or a separate ordinance by the city about a year ago. Um, and then also standards regarding driveways and street designs. These are um, small little changes that are being requested by the engineering department. And then finally, on the last page, um, this is sidewalks. We are proposing to put back in similar language that used to be in the city zoning ordinance as far as what side of the street sidewalks get placed, when it is a local street, and in our tiers and collectors, it's two-sided, um, which is how we've been operating but the LDR language did not keep pace with that. So we're proposing to change that. Um, beyond that, I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have, but as you can see, staff is recommending approval of these amendments. <coughs> One other note, Mr. Chairman, I did pass out a replacement page nine right before the meeting. It is for that first paragraph shaded in yellow. Uh, we are simply rewording it, not changing the essence of the statements, but simply trying to make it read a little better but unfortunately making it also the price as long. Um, there was some confusion among city staff about how it was read, and so we were trying to clear that up. But that's the only change since the work session. All right. Thank you. Are there any questions? Mr. Chairman, I'll 